Greetings everyone, Wild Child here, and do you remember this game? It's called Black Ops 2. It was kind of fun. <laughs> well, today we're gonna go back in time a little bit, and uh, we are playing Kill Confirm. Um, what was the name of this map? I just forgot. What are the name is in this map? You know, we're gonna have some fun with the shotgun, we're gonna get some kills, and we're gonna take a break, at least for one video. We're gonna take a break, you know, from Battlefield 4, from Call of Duty Ghosts, and some of the stuff. And, and just go back in time and, and, and maybe maybe remember when when things were a bit more fun and it's funny how every year for the past few years it's been, it's been the same we get the new Call of Duty and we ended up playing the old one and it feels so much better so I don't know if if the game was not a, that bad in the first place or the new ones are really bad at making the old ones look a little better I mean I don't get me wrong, I was one of the first ones to, to say that I was bored with this game within two weeks of the release date. I, was, I said that in a video when I had my own channel. Uh, I said that two weeks I'm like, I'm bored with this game. But you know what, I kept playing throughout the year, you know, got some nice gameplays and stuff, and um, it was okay. And I believe one of the reasons that the game, or I kept playing the game, was because Maybe these course tricks were not that boring or dull. Um, whether we like it or not, uh, the, the score tricks are like a huge thing in, in Call of Duty. You know what I mean? It's gonna be like that until they stop making Call of Duty games. It's all about score tricks, and that's the way it is. And as long as they keep bringing these cool score, score tricks or kill streaks, it makes the game more fun, or at least maybe extends. Uh, the game's life a little a little bit. For example, if you go back to Modern Warfare 2, which I don't have the game anymore, but if you if you go back to that game, you know you'll maybe you'll think about getting a nuke because it was a cool it was a cool uh, a kill streak. There's no score tricks there. Kill streak. Uh, it was a cool kill streak getting the, the nuke or maybe the uh, the chopper gunner sitting down over there and going like a maniac, you know, or the AC-130. They were cool. Kill streaks, very nasty. You could get tons of kills, right? Remember that? And, and they were fun. But then you go back, or no, you go back. No, then you get a game like Call of Duty Ghost, and you get all these lame and boring uh, kill streaks. It's like it's just not fun. I mean, as, aside from from the game being boring, whatever they tweak that you die so quick, and you know all the other things. Don't look at that. Don't, don't look at the, the the map layout or the guns, or whatever. Just look at the, 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 the fun itself with the score. There's nothing. <laughs> There's no fun with any of the country. The low key, it's it's boring, you know. The helicopter doesn't get you kills. If you're playing like Stonehaven and you're calling your helicopter, you're lucky if it gets you five kills on a wide open map that has like, like pretty much no cover at all. So, you know, score streaks or kill streaks are a huge, huge. Uh, Part of this game, and I think extends the life. And uh, for example, in Black Ops 2, they were pretty cool ones. You know, the I like the dogs. That was my favorite. The dogs. The helicopter gets you tons of kills. Uh, you know, just to name a few. My favorite with the dogs ever since uh, War at War. The dogs are pretty nasty because they go and hunt campers. That's pretty awesome. You know, it's an anti-camper uh, kill streak in my opinion. It's pretty beast. Another thing, here in, in Black Ops Black Ops 2, what I like the most is that it rewarded you from, from playing the objective. If you play the objective, if you, if you get these uh, the tags, you get more points and you get these core tricks faster. That's awesome. You know, we don't have any of that in, in, in Call of Duty Ghost. So, it, it is so weird, you know, and I don't want to be one of those who complains about, oh, this game sucks and now this one is better. I don't want to say that, but you, you definitely... See the difference? If you still have this game, you can just try to play it, and you just notice right away, it's like, wow, even though this game is not that great, or even though I didn't like this game as much, but you play it and you cannot, you cannot avoid just feeling like home. It's like, wow, this is like, this is like, in a way, more relaxing, if that makes sense. Probably not, but it makes sense to me in my head. Um, it, it, it's just so weird, so... You know, I mean, it's, it's just a fun game. It got boring kind of quick. But I think they, they they didn't take advantage of you know the whole thing that they were doing. You know, the, the zombies using 
the, uh, the multiplayer engine for zombies. But anyways, I don't want to talk about it. So it was it was fun just going back a little bit to Black Ops 2, and, and it was good. I have a couple of more gameplays here, um, also some uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, and uh, of course on Battlefield 4. So like I said, just just for today, at least to I wanted to entertain you with some some old school. Even though this is not that old school, but you know. Old school stuff, you know, Black Ops 2, show them some, something fun, something uh, beast because I was destroying these dudes. <laughs> so it's always good to destroy the guys with a shotgun because shotgun pisses people off. I don't use it because of that, but uh, for some reason, uh, we all get aggravated when we die by a shotgun. I don't know why. Maybe because it's just a like one shot, one kill most of the time, or maybe because the sound makes a jump, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> Shogun one of those guys that really pisses people off and it's kind of funny. Well this one is pretty good, I'm using it here with the suppressor or silencer, I think suppressor sounds cooler, and um, you know it was, it was pretty good, like a rough start, sometimes I I get that, and um, most of the times that's when I get my, some of my, my best gameplays, when I start losing I get my butt kicked, like I die like three, three four times in a row and then all of a sudden I don't die throughout the whole game and I'm ready for the pretty fun, so. But um, yes, uh, I have a pretty cool uh, search, and, uh, search and rescue and, and, and ghosts, it's pretty good so you guys can look forward to that. And some uh, some domination action in uh, Battlefield 4, try to mix it up a little bit, make things more fun and uh, just, just to entertain me and just talk about whatever, some random stuff today will be just... Random stuff. <laughs> Random stuff. I don't plan this coming to this. I just talk. Whatever. So it's, it's all fun. But uh, anyways, um, the game is slowly coming to an end. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, gameplay and this commentary. And as always, if you haven't, uh, please check out my channel on the videos. And uh, yeah, stay, much, stay tuned for more, for more shooting action because there's a lot of stuff uh, I want to post and uh, there's some pretty cool games. Nasty games, whatever you like. You know, nasty kills. All oh, nasty kills are coming. Playing the objective as well. All oh, that's coming a lot too. So this is going to be very cool. And um, well, not this one, but all of those videos will be, or most of them will be, with live commentary to make things more interesting, more fun. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, later.